why do you do this? Um, I've been doing it for the last nine years, so there's nothing new. Okay. Uh, it's grown, it's, it's, it's more accepted in, in, in the society of Cyprus, it's um, growing. I think attitudes are changing. I think we started with a very modest um, objective to get you know five people the first year, five teams actually, ten people. And um, you know this year there are more than 850 people who applied. Mm -hmm. uh, 750,000 euros have been granted today, just to the, this year's winners. So um, hopefully mm -hmm. this will change society. We have an African drum project, Jembe oh. and Dunduns. We are going to teach uh, African songs. Uh, this is me, my name is Ayis and this is Serkan. Hello there. We take you to your partner. So we are both uh, poets and uh, members of uh, the, the, the writers' unions on both sides. And our project is uh, uh, about a trilingual Turkish, Greek and English um, poetry anthology. Our proposal was about uh, organizing workshop at the schools in both communities uh, to learn more about volunteering opportunities and how young people can uh, be more active uh, through volunteering. Another question. Right now the political situation in Cyprus is pretty much at a stalemate. Mm -hmm. Do you think this kind of bicommunal um, initiative still has a place? Yes, of course. I mean, it's not the first time in, in the Cyprus uh, problem history that we, we see the situation. We, we've been through wars. I mean, we, we'll never quit. I mean, politicians cannot uh, determine, uh, determine uh, what is going to happen. It's the people that will decide. So even if we end up with partition, you'll still be doing this kind of initiatives? Yes, of course. Yeah, I mean, uh, peace and reconciliation is about borders. The talks in the Cyprus problem are pretty much dead. Partition is, seems very close. Why do you keep doing it? I, I don't think we're trying to address the political issue. I don't think that um, you know, solution or partition is the, the, the state of affairs that anybody really um, um, cares about, provided there is um, cooperation and communication between the two communities. We are just married in uh, a year ago. Uh, we, meet, we met each other from our friends. And uh, from, our, uh, from there and on, uh, we, together. we are together. For us, it's uh, like a celebration of our love again today and uh, of our family. Yes, correct. Yes. Uh, we are partners in life. Hello. I'm Nicolas, this is Aisha. And uh, we got married in 2014. And we've been living together since then. We are expecting our first baby. And uh, I'm 34 years old, and I've been told since I was a boy that on the other side, aliens live there. But what schools didn't tell me, didn't teach me, was that I would find my better half on the other side. How did you meet? You met in Nicosia. Uh, we met in Nicosia, uh, and uh, it was a coincidence actually. And uh, uh, it was the most amazing, amazing thing that ever happened to me.